last motherfucker that killed me last time. You aren't killing me this time, bitch. Nah, hell no. Nah, hell no. You ain't killing shit, sucker. You ain't killing shit. Alright. I was like, I was gonna show everything again, but that took like 15 minutes to get back to this point. Because <laughs> I actually kicked, got my ass kicked on the way back over here, so I actually went back and got healed again in between. So yeah, I went ahead and cut to me coming back to this point. I was, it's a good time saver, episode time saver. Anyway, I had to drink my drink again during this monkey fight because I didn't want to go back again. So let's hope that there's the next hole or the end of this shit coming real soon. Because that's a lot of monkeys, man. It's a lot of fucking monkeys. Um, alright. Because I know we saw a hole when we were about to get on the elevator. I just don't know where that hole was. It was below, but how far below? This room is not cool, by the way. I am not a fan of this room. This is a big ass room? I'm not walking out there. I'm just gonna go in the door. Now where are we? Just another staircase? Alright. Okay, I just hear myself walking. I don't hear anything else. Which is a nice reprieve for once. That doesn't mean anything won't show up, though. Oh, look. Goop on the wall. Get stomped out, Goop. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. I'm out of here. I don't have the health to be fucking around I'm getting hit by Goop on the wall. I need a fucking heal. That's what I need. What's this? Just garbage. There's nothing useful here. Well, that sucks. There's two doors. Three doors. What's over here? Anything? Okay, well, which door is openable? This one? Nope. This one? Nope. This one, then. Oh, God. More goop on the wall. Fun. I'm just not going to fuck with the goop on the wall. Oh, look at this room. There's a nice axe here, too, dude. What? Rusty axe? Yo. Powerful and easy to handle, with, a, but it's a little short. You mean it has even shorter range than the one we're using right now? Oh, it's a one-hand axe, that's why. What's this? Hello, piece of paper. There's a memo here. The boss said that the number this time is the last four digits of this store's phone number, but the phone number is written right there on the sign of the roof. Oh, the sign on the roof! Shit! What was the number? Anybody could see that from the South Ashfield Street. Is that really okay? Fuck, what was the number? 555 something something something. 3750? 3750. That's a guess, by the way. If I'm right, I'm going to laugh. 3570. I need a hole to be able to go back, though. I'm not going all... Oh, never mind. There's a hole right here. We can go check on it right now. I need it anyways because I need to heal, so... We're going to go heal. It's probably a good idea. Billiard table looks like they were in the middle of the game. All right, easy peasy, y'all. Let's go check on that password. I'm guessing the password's to get out the back of this place, and possibly be done with this area already. I feel like we've been cruising through this area like a fucking bouse, just cruising for a bruising through this building area, as it's called. What a boring name. Anyway, because it's pretty much assuming you're gonna go back into the hole right now if you don't remember the number. There's going to be something that happens this time, right? Maybe we can actually check on our neighbor this time? Yeah, by, by the way, off screen when I came back here to heal, I didn't check anything. I literally let myself heal, save, and I left. I'm not trying to open the window. I'm trying to look out it. I'm not trying to open I'm trying to look out it, please. Thank you. I need to know the number, homie. All right. 3750, dude, I'm a beast. I'm a beast that I remembered that. I can't even believe I remembered that. If I didn't need to heal, I could have just fucking continued on. But damn. I am I mean, I have seen it enough times, so you think it eventually it would just stick in my brain. We did dial it once as well. 3750. Alright. Okay, anything new in here? Anything new and exciting? Nothing under the door? Let's check out the front. See what's going on. Anybody there? Oh. What? Who's he talking to? Are you arguing with somebody? Are you t 
talking to somebody? I can't tell. Is he fighting those same ghosts that the girl was fighting? Um. Um. He's like slowly drifting to the left, but like not really. I don't know. He's kind of still standing in place. It just the way he's moving makes it seem like he's moving to the left. Um, I think he. Oh wait, no. I think it's just looped. I could kind of tell when it looped because he kind of like reset. All right, so it's just gonna sit out there and yell at whoever he's talking to over there. Let's see if it has anything to do with my neighbor. Neighbor. Oh. 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 What's happening to her? Oh, co co oh, what? Don't do this shit again. Where she gets all startled and then she runs to the front door. Shit doesn't help me, man. I'm gonna go check the front again to make sure that dude's still out there arguing with some ghost. You still out there arguing with a ghost, dude? Oh, he's gone. He's just gone. Alrighty then. Something tells me that check on your neighbor soon thing is probably going to be for like after we're done with this area. Anyway, we came back here to heal. Might as well hit it with a hot save. Hit it with a hot save, brave. Blah, 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 blah. Ridiculous, dude. 32 minutes, and I've been recording two episodes worth of shit. My my kind of my goal right now is to just try and finish this building area in this recording session. So I'm just going to go for it. Just going to go for it, man. Going to fucking go for it. 3750, don't forget the number. I already knew it and I didn't even know it. I didn't even know that I knew it until I needed to know it. And now I know it. Remembered forever. 3750, baby. Alright. Let's get her done. By the way, anything like we can else we can interact with in here? Doesn't seem like it. I mean I got an axe for gosh sakes. Alright. Here we go. Three seven five. Set up. Booyah. Code master, baby. Code master. What do we got now? Back outside again. Great. Fucking great. Okay, so this is just a staircase that's gone. Nope. Don't like that. Nope. Not at all. A long ass staircase with many ghosts. Time to run. I saw the ghost, man. I saw him. I'm just gonna run. It's a good thing we got to save and heal, because fuck dealing with these ghosts. I'm not even going to try to pin these fuckers with a sword. Dude, get away from me, ghosty. It's like Ghostbusters, dude, for NES. You gotta run up the stairs while avoiding ghosts that you can't kill. Nice. Dude, ghost, go away. Oh, there's another one below him. Man, I'm just going to keep moving. I'm just going to non-stop run up these stairs. There's got to be an end to this, right? Oh my god, they're hurting me. They're hurting me. Only a little, but they are hurting me. I'm glad there's infinite run. It's not like fucking Evil Within that I'm playing right now where it has a goddamn stamina bar. Which is fine, but it's like annoying when I'm trying to run away from something. In this game, I mean, running is necessary for these fucking ghosts. Otherwise, not a big deal. Good lord, are we at the top yet? There's a lot of stairs. What's this? It's door 207 from my apartment building. Good for you. Open the damn thing. Oh, we're at the end. Nice. Chaos placard. Here we go. All right. Well, guess who's going to be dead next? You already know. Here we go. Whoa. What? He's frying? Oh, that's fucked up. Don't touch him, dude. Don't touch him. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Damn, he's frying before our very eyes, and he has one nine one two one. Yo, and the kid is just right there. Not creepy at all. Two, 
No shit. We already kind of learned that, but thanks for the heads up, homie. I still think the kid looks like he could be the kid version of Henry. I still think that, even though they keep calling him Walter. But is it really as simple as the fact that he is Walter and I'm Henry? Or is there more to this? I don't know. But anyway, it looks like we're done with building area. Yay! Now let's go see what happened to my neighbor. I wonder if something actually happened to her yet. I also kind of need to unload my inventory a little bit. I think I might drop off the metal pipe, dude. The bat is beast. Plus, I got an axe now. I think the metal pipe can be retired. It was a trusty weapon while it lasted. But I think we can finally retire it. Anyway, let's spend probably the rest of this episode looking around. Whoop. Hold on. There's a man in 207 pointing his finger. Yeah? He's pointing at room 303. Eileen's room? I don't know. I can't fucking go down there. I'm kind of stuck in my apartment building, bruh. 303. Okay. I'm assuming he's not going to do anything else but point. Rude. Didn't everybody ever tell you it's rude to point, bruh? <clears throat> Apparently nobody ever told him, dude. He just decided to keep doing it forever. Okay. Right, so that happened. Let's go back out here. Let's see what kind of creepiness can go on in our apartment now. I mean, how much... Okay. What? Looks like what? another one, what? Captain. Got one, one, two, one on his head. One. It's just Why did like it that cut case out? From ten one. Years Why did ago. it cut out? One, uh, oh, one, two, one. Yeah, that Walter Sullivan yeah, case. Yeah, that one. But Sullivan's dead. They even got the body. So you thought. Must be some crazy copycat. So you thought. Yeah, but even so. They thought Jigsaw was dead too, man. They thought Jigsaw was dead too, man. I don't know why I repeated myself, but still. They thought. They thought. Oh, there's you again. Oh, is he doing the pacing thing again? I don't want to watch you pace in front of my door again. Also, another bloody handprint, by the way. FYI. Oh, uh, yeah, he's doing the pacing thing. I don't want to watch him pace. Do I? One more pace and I'm out. One more pace and I'm out. Sir, 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 sir. Okay, wait, he stopped. He stopped. Alright, fuck it. He's doing that pacing thing. We watched him do that before. He just paces back and forth. Nothing special. I'm going to look out the window one more time. Just to see if there's anything special from this vi angle. I don't think there's going to be. But we might as well, because we get a little bit clearer of a view of what's in the windows. Not really a whole lot, though. Still kind of boring out here. I mean, the old man's pointing at the room in my apartment building that I can't even go to anyways. Point all you want, old man. I can do nothing. I'm stuck in here. And, oh, there she is. <gasps> She's changed her clothes. Yo, finally. Bitch been dressed in that same outfit for days, man. She's finally wearing a nice purple dress. But she has disappeared from my view already. Really? She was there, and now she's gone, and that was it? That was it? That was it? Guess that was it. Okay. Wait. Maybe not. Hold on. Huh? I saw her arm, dude. Her arm, dude. That's a sexy arm. <laughs> oh, oh. I saw like a little bit of it. I saw a little bit. I saw a little bit of flesh. Oh, there's some more flesh. Okay. Okay. Did she actually leave now? Is that what happened? I'm guessing she actually left now. Yeah, probably. Okay, so she changed her outfit. She, maybe she's on to going out on a date, dude. Sexy date. Yo, with that purple dress, girl. Where you got off to? That's it? She got dressed and then she's out? Alright, well. Good to know. Um, I guess we're done here. Um, I hate to stop here. You know, I can't stop. I can't stop because if I stop, then I have... 
two shorter episodes and I want to make sure that these episodes don't get cut too short because I spent like 15 minutes going back to, through the monkey fight again so you know what I'm gonna go ahead and see what the next area is why not I'm bound to run into a hole soon after getting there usually there isn't the holes aren't too far in also we gotta see how big the hole in my bathroom is holy moly this shit's getting big it's also starting to have that ring around the outside. Interesting. Is it going to... Oh, this hole. It doesn't look like a human made it. It's getting bigger and rounder. I think I've even seen this pattern before. Yeah, every time you go into the hole when you're in the area, dude, the holes look exactly like this. They just have a red ring around it. I'm guessing by the end of the game, or whenever, or, you know, by the next time it gets bigger, it might have the red ring around it, and it'll look like all the other holes. That would be interesting. Our room is slowly becoming connected with the rest of this crazy shit. Is it eventually that we're going to be in our room in third person instead of first person? Who knows. Anyway, welcome to a new area, which is... Hold your breath. Right up his taint. All right. Oh, man, we're on the metal. Oh, no. We're in hell world now, dude. Oh, man. Oh, 303, dude. Who dat? Who this guy? Why he knock so slow? Oh wait, <gasps> it's my girl! The girl next door, dude! Uh-oh. 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 Is this creepy dude actually Walter? Is Eileen the girl next door? Did we learn her name before? I have no idea. Either way, I do not like. It looks like my hell apartment. World. Okay, so now we're actually in the apartment. What the hell is what this? What the hell is this? Okay. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? He asks. 301. Whoa. Guess we're going in. Remember the part where I said we're probably going to go into the apartment? Well, we're in the apartment now. Um. We're in somebody else's apartment, but it's definitely the apartment building, so that's cool. Wow, look at all these porno mags. Sick. Can we look at them? I'd be down. Oh, there's a hole in here, too. There's a diary here. All right. Oh, I actually meant to store some shit because I don't have any space. Anyway, the last few months, Joseph, the guy next door to me who gave that rare porn, <laughs> gave me that rare porn. Oh, is it rare? How rare is it, dude? Do you fuck it? Is it got any holographics in it? Fucking, did you try to sell it on eBay? How rare is it, bro? fucking ultra rare anyway it looks like he's been working super hard he said if he found another rare one he'd give it to me but he hasn't shown his face around much lately he said he was a journalist and he's always investigating stuff but i think there's something strange going on with him he's been shut in his apartment and i can hear all these weird noises coming from there july 1st mike oh my beautiful rachel what's with the note on the red paper i thought you'd written a note back to me but i guess maybe it was somewhere else he took it along with my clothes those were my best clothes july 2nd mike Okay. Mike. Apparently it's Mike. Whoever Mike is, I don't know. You can't hold anymore. God damn it. <sighs> if I could equip more bullets. Um. Shit, dude. I gotta drop some stuff off. I need to drop off this placard. Alright, let's go fucking drop shit off. There is literally a hole right here, so we might as well use it. Let's drop off this placard, and we'll drop off the pipe. I meant to store the pipe. I said I was going to. I said I was going to retire the pipe, and I forgot. I don't want to drop any bullets off because I might come across something that I want to use bullets on, like Twin-Headed Nightmare again. A creature like that I don't want to fucking mess around with, you know? I want to be able to take that bitch down with the quickness. The good thing is I'm glad we found a hole, like, immediately, because that means, A, we can store stuff, and B, I can probably just look around a little bit in the apartment building and then call it an episode, and then we'll go... Next recording sesh, I'll charge through the apartment building like a boss. What in the fuck was that? Um, nope. Don't like that sound. It sounded like a mechanical machinery thing, but it also sounded like a creature. What the fuck? I figured out the riddle behind the numbers. 01121 is actually 0121. Okay, in other words, I'm one out of 21. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Oh, so it's supposed to be a slash, not a one? Oh. So Walter was planning on killing 21 people? 
but he never finished the job. He was convicted for the murders of Billy and Miriam Locaine, the seventh and eighth victims. Afterwards, he committed suicide in his jail cell. The grisly mass murder of ten people shocked the world and came to be known as the Walter Sullivan case. There are two big puzzles here. The first is, what was the motive for the murders? The second is, why did he kill himself before completing his task? Was he simply insane? May 2nd. Ha. Huh. Interesting. Also, what the fuck was that sound? Are they trying to, like, break into the apartment? Oh, this guy's just pacing again. He's just pacing again. Alright, I'm not, I'm not waiting for him to pace back. What was that sound, though? Was that coming from outside? Gotta, I gotta know. I gotta know. It sounded mechanical. Um, okay, not outside. Maybe it came from the girl next door? And if not, well then we're gonna store my shit and go back in. Cause, whatever. Um, wait. I wonder if something happened to Eileen. I haven't seen her here a lot of times, bro. Why would you think that? Why would you finally think that out loud when clearly we've done we've we've come across her not being there before? I don't get why it's special this time. Anyway, I'm gonna store this bitch. I'm gonna store this bitch. I wanna hold on to this, just because I never know when I might want to use it. I also have this. I guess I'll hold on to it for now. I don't intend on using it right now. Let's just save myself some space. I expect to be able to utilize my heals like for a for a fucking like final boss fight or some shit, you know? I don't know if there's going to be a final boss fight in this game. All the other Silent Hills had final boss fights. I don't know if this one's going to have that same kind of thing. I really don't. I mean, so far there hasn't been any boss fights. There's been plenty of enemies in my way, and it seemed like I had to get them out of my way in the last area. Some of the other areas I could run past them, i.e. the ghosts and the cats and the bats and stuff, but this area was all about, or the building area, rather, was all about getting those fuckers out of my way, those monkeys and shit. They were in the way. I mean, I probably could have just baited them and ran by them and not wasted anything, but I didn't waste anything if you think about it. Anyway, it's a red piece of paper with nothing written on it. I'll take it. Huh. Red paper with nothing written on it. I'll stick it under room 302's door. Okay. Interesting. You'll stick it under 302's door. Why? Also, what is going on here? Um, I don't know. There's another diary here. Or something. Teaching Despair. Wish House. Wish House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image, is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Wish House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it's, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of the good, of good religious values. Mr. Smith Temp, who lives near Wish House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me at, right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was, fused, was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Wish House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower, which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what that tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may in fact be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Wish House is known by this local simply as the Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Wish House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. Huh. Uh, I don't remember meeting that guy. Anyway, there's porno mags everywhere, dude. Dude, there's always time for porno mags. Don't tell me there's no time. Anyway, there's these red things on the wall. It's a photo of a nurse that says I love you on it. There's a key taped to the back of it. Fucking take the key then, bro. Locker number 106 key. Okay. 
this guy is at the super? He was much younger in this picture. There's a key taped to the back of it. Take the fucking key then, bro. Key's everywhere, dude. What am I going to do with all these things? Interesting. Oh, what the hell is this? I don't want to know. Shit's creepy, man. Alright, well this seems like an elevator. I don't know if it is an elevator, but it seems like one. Okay, and now there's ghosts in here. Super cool. Um, um, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I didn't know there was going to be a ghost in there all of a sudden. Okay, so I'm only out because I think we're going to call this an episode. Um, yeah, I spent a good 15 minutes or so, you know, between going back to the apartment twice now and, you know, exploring the rest of it and finding these keys. Might have to drop off some ammo just to make a little bit more space because I don't know when the hell we're going to use all these keys up. I might have to make some more space. But anyway, that's probably going to do it. Let's just make sure nothing's going on out here and then we'll call it a day. Call it a day. Creepy ass motherfuckers next door. Alright, double check out here. No, not there. Out there. Anything? 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 Hello? 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 Nope. Alright. I guess I can double check her room again, because last time we checked it said she not there. But maybe she there now. Probably not though. She seems to be a part of this next area. Which means she's probably going to die. Oh, wait, no, there she is. What? She's all right. She's, I assume, ghost painting her nails, her toenails. That shit looks hella terribly animated, but I can tell that that, that is what she's doing. So that's nice. She looks to be okay. That's good. Should we just stare at her for a while? I'm going to stare at her for a while. She's just painting her toenails endlessly. Endlessly paint your toenails. Uh -huh. Endlessly. She's kind of in the same sitting position as the bunny rabbit, which is kind of weird, right? Also, I think she just looped, so we're good. All right. Next time on Silent Hill 4, we'll go back into the apartment area and uh, avoid ghosts at all costs and see maybe what's going on with my girl Eileen next door. We shall see. I'll see you guys then. Peace!